What is going on guys? Welcome back to Peak Performance. I'm Brandon and today is the day we've been waiting weeks for. Uh, Lewis is actually on his way over right now and we are going to be dropping the L83, the 5.3 liter V8, into the Death Cart Solstice today for hopefully the last time ever. Uh, so once we get it in, we're probably not going to have a lot of time today, but if we can just kind of get it in, uh, maybe start plugging in a lot of pieces of the harness, the PSI harness, and um, I can probably even get the uh, clutch bled, all that good stuff. Um, so we don't have a lot of time, I think just one or two hours, but it should be enough to get the motor in and maybe start making some connections. And uh, in the following week or two, hopefully uh, Lewis can get back over and we can uh, go ahead and get the electrical done, at least on the engine side, just so we can start the motor, uh, make sure everything's okay and, and all that good stuff. So let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing we gotta do today is swap in this new slave cylinder spacer. So uh, the original spacer that FabBot had shipped us uh, for uh, to be able to use the original Ison AR5 with this 4L60 bell housing was the one they send for a normal LS. And apparently it's about six millimeters too thick. Um, so they sent us for free this bad boy, which is six millimeters shorter. And I guess this is the slave spacer that is normally used for the Colorado. So I've got to go ahead and get that swapped in right now. And uh, then hopefully Lewis will be here and we can start actually putting in the motor. Uh, we also picked up a set of uh, LT1 headers from a Corvette, well, exhaust manifold. So uh, picked these up on eBay, got a pretty good deal on them, and we're gonna see if they're gonna work. Um, I kind of did some mock-up just trying to hold it in the air, and I don't have a high confidence they're gonna work. So there's just not much clearance between the motor mount and the frame there and these are pretty wide so unless they're high enough to clear we may have to not use those it looks like another option we could use is the holly uh, they make like a, a swap manifold that's cast iron it's like 300 dollars, but they have some specs on their website and when i kind of looked at that it looks like that might work their outlet's kind of like straight down at the back of the motor which for us would be pretty much perfect right because we have a lot of room right there so we'll see if not these will be up for sale soon all right, so I got the spacers off. So this is the one that we pulled off. Now this one actually used to, uses some recessed uh, hex bolts to hold it on, and then you can put in the two bolts to hold the slave cylinder. This one, because it's a lot shorter, considerably, uh, it just comes with uh, two longer bolts that go through both the spacer and the slave cylinder at the same time. So I'm gonna get that popped on, and then we're gonna be good to go to start putting the motor in. All right, guys, so it's been a couple hours. We did get the motor in, so check that out. Boom, finally in there. It is super hot today here in uh, Mi Michigan. Uh, it's like freaking 90, 95, 1,000% humidity. I'm just soaked. Uh, Lewis already had to take off, but not before we got the whole motor all in. So let me kind of show you guys what we got. So everything's in. Motor mounts are all bolted down. Trans is all bolted down. Now with the uh, um, 4L60 bell housing, we're able to get six of the eight bolts. So basically, um, these top two bolts here, if you can see, we, we can't get those um, just because of the differences with the uh, direct injection. So six out of eight should be good to go. Um, otherwise, it did take us a long time to get the uh, engine mounts in um, just because they were off like eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch. So it took a lot of, uh, a lot of time to get that in, but uh, otherwise they're good. The other step back that we found out is these Corvette uh, exhaust manifolds will not work for us. Um, they're just too big. So basically uh, down here at this bottom part, this flange is just way too wide between the frame of the car and um, what else is it hitting? Ah, frame of the car and the engine mount. So basically in here, they just don't fit. So back to the drawing board, we kind of think maybe the Holly uh, exhaust manifolds may not work either. They're gonna be very close. It looks like they'd put it somewhere in here. Uh, so I want to say another guy told me that he did the same swap, an LT swap into a Solstice, and he told me that he had used uh, some Camaro uh, headers. So that may be how we go. Just want to get one more video in here just to kind of give a little overview or we'll go around the car just so you can kind of check this thing out. So we do have it sitting very high, the motor. Um, obviously, if this was a stock car, I do not think it would clear the hood. But uh, for us, what this was able to do with this Holly pan, we were able to clear that factory cross member. So let me see if I can kind of get down here and show you the clearance. So you can see um, we've got, you know, 
I would say about an inch at least of clearance at the bottom. Uh, up front, we've got even more, which is kind of hard to see in that way. But uh, let me see if I can come down here and show you guys real quick. So yeah, tons of clearance. Uh, this was, on um, the power steering was what was closest, right? But totally cleared that, so we didn't have to modify anything. We just put the motor up basically as high as we could. So you can kind of see there's not much clearance there. Hopefully this won't give us too much issue with like our um, drive shaft, pinion angle, and all that kind of stuff. But we think it'll be all right. Looks pretty cool up that high. Eventually, if we get like a Holly High Ram, oh man, it's gonna look sick. Totally sick. So for now, I just went and draped the harness across the top, but uh, I haven't started hooking anything up. Next up, maybe if I get some time, I'll put in a starter. I can start hooking up the power wires to it, um, start plugging everything in. But not today. It is too dang hot today. But it looks awesome. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you like it. And if you want to, hit the subscribe button and uh, you know check out also our Facebook page to see more content coming soon on the Death Cart Solstice.